powerful ingredients for hair growth that can grow your hair like super crazy and long if you do these on a consistent basis. This helped to grow my hair, so you need to watch this video all the way to the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shibli. Here are some of the ingredients that's going to make your hair grow like crazy. Moringa is so powerful, has vitamin A and B. Banana, y'all, it's really great for your hair too. And this is where we're going to get our hair to get really soft. So sister, if you have um, dry, brittle hair, you throw a banana in there, it's going to be so soft. It's best to use a banana that's not really um, fresh. So one that's a little on the old side you know what i mean so well, let's just peel the peeling as you see this is like the perfect banana to use we want to use one that's overripe banana has potassium which is great for your hair it's going to make it really really soft and it really helps hair growth so you guys i have low prosody hair so this DIY is really great if you have low prosody hair. It's going to really, you're going to get a lot of benefits out of doing this DIY. So I'm just putting the banana in a bowl. Two eggs for the next ingredients. You can do one egg or three, just depends on how big of a batch you want to make it. Eggs are full of vitamin A, E, biotin, and folic and that's just some of the things found in eggs that's going to help make your hair much thicker and healthier. I like using this DIY because I know using the egg just makes my hair feel so much shinier and soft. It just locks in the moisture in my hair. It replenishes the moisture in my hair. Okay, so the next ingredients, ladies, will be grapeseed oil. It's 100%. You get it from any grocery store. If you don't have grapeseed oil, you can use olive oil or sesame seed oil, you know, or castor oil. This grapeseed oil, you guys, if you have weak or damaged or brittle hair, grapeseed oil, it strengthens and improves each strand of your hair. And it has antioxidants, OPCS, and vitamin E, and it brings your hair back to life. It locks in the moisture. All right, so the next ingredients for this DIY hair mask would be moringa. Moringa is so powerful. It contains both vitamin A and B that nourish the hair and promotes hair growth. So you guys, moringa also has vitamin A. Vitamin A develops healthy, healthy cells and tissue in the body that can reduce hair loss, y'all. Moringa moisturizes your scalp. Moringa also helps keeps the hair healthy and Moringa improves the hairs and the scalp from being a lot shinier. Um, try to add Moringa into your hair care regimen to achieve like a great natural shiny healthy hair look. It's also helped boost mother's milk production. So I also add Moringa in my smoothies too. And since I've been doing that, it's been boosting my energy, y'all. Man, I'm just feeling great. It helps your digestive system and, and your, clears up your skin and, you know, improves your hair. So now I'm going to apply this great DIY in my hair. So my hair is wet and I detangled my hair and finger detangled it. Make sure if you apply it in your hair, your hair is not tangled at all. I did that mistake and man, it is hard to rinse this DIY out. So make sure your hair is really um, brushed through or combed or however you can get it um, detangled. So it's no special way to install this hair mask in your hair. Um, you could part your hair in sections, but I just apply it to the damaged hair first, and that's my ends, and then I work my way through. So again, this DIY hair mask is really for people that had like a lot of heat damage, or you just dyed your hair, or you, your hair is just completely just dry and brittle, like mine was. Girl, this is what you need. This is really gonna help that hair get back shiny and silky again, easy to manage. It's gonna help frizz. It's going to increase your hair growth. So let me break it down to you why it'll increase hair growth. I mean, 
just because it has the ingredients moringa. So moringa has something called alamino acids, which builds in blocks of cells. Therefore, this helps in rejuvenation of the hair therapy, reduces hair loss. And so it can triple like your hair follicles. So it will definitely thicken up your hair and it'll actually help bald areas because <laughs> it's so rich in biotin. I mean, this is just a miracle hair growth and it's been around for decades. It's just people are not talking about it. People in India definitely use this a lot. They know about all about this. So shoot, get your mask going on, get your hair growth and get it going because we need to build up our hair follicles and definitely start working on having a healthy scalp. All right, so I'm like halfway done um, placing this powerful ingredients for hair growth, hair mask in my hair just taking my time with it um it's really best to leave it in your hair approximately around well approximately about like 45 minutes to an hour so i am going to leave this in my hair y'all and i'm just pinning it up to the top i'm going to place a plastic bag on my hair and i'm actually going to sit under a dryer like i want this to penetrate in my hair strands i want this to really um like work for my scalp and rebuild my hair back to health i mean man my hair like so needs this right now so if i can get this rubber band to stay because it is heavy it's just dripping down man this is like messy but it's all good it's worth having healthier hair and having stronger and shinier hair so Ah, boy, it feels soft to the touch. <laughs> so let me find this rubber band. Man, I dropped it. Okay, there we go. And put this plastic bag. I usually just put like two grocery bags on the head. And it just really helps lock in the moisture from my hair. Okay, so I'm going to let this DIY hair mask sit in my hair for 45 minutes to an hour. Good, good, good. And um, I'll see y'all underneath the dryer. All right, I'm back. I do look a little granny, but hey, it's okay to be a little granny. I'm doing old school on y'all. Sit under a dryer. <laughs> it's best to sit under a dryer, you guys, because it evenly stimulates the hair as a whole and heats up the scalp all at the same time as a whole 360, if that makes any sense your scalp is very important um yes it is good to air dry but when you apply the heat like this evenly it really locks in the moisture and it penetrates to the hair shaft in the hair follicle leaving your hair soft and smooth improving your hair elasticity <laughs> making your hair able to retain length improving moisture retaining and preventing hair damage and those are just some of the benefits of sitting under the dryer looking like a granny. <laughs> All right, so now you guys, you get to see my luscious hair. Hey, hey, hey. Man, I can't even see the, the mask in my hair. My hair like totally ate it up. My hair was very thirsty. <laughs> I can only see it on my ends as you see right there. Wow. So this is what it looks like close up. As you see, you can see the little pieces of the hair mask still in my hair. So you gotta make sure you really put it in a blender. If you don't have a blender, mash it up really well because you don't wanna get these chunks stuck in your hair. I'm gonna rinse mine out in the kitchen sink. Don't forget to use cold water, y'all. I love the sound of water, so enjoy. This is really helping my hair restore my curls. As you see, as I'm rinsing it out, you can see my curls coming back. Ah, my hair feels so soft.
make sure you rinse it out thoroughly and get all the product out and you see I'm working on my scalp it's just easier to do in the kitchen sink so I recommend to try to do it in a sink if you can So this is definitely a mask meant for my hair. Wow. And it shows, okay? You see my curls are already coming back. They are bouncy and soft. And my elasticity in my hair is here. And uh, hopefully I'll get minimum shedding when I brush it. I still have a little bit remaining in the hair, so I'll probably rinse it a little bit more. But I think you've seen enough. So I really hope that you guys use this DIY or use something similar to this DIY and leave comments down below. I want to know, hey, are you getting the shine, the definition, and the hair growth that my hair did? <laughs> so please leave it down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you stay all the way to the end of this video, I have a couple other videos that you might be interested in of how I'm retaining my hair length and maintaining healthy long hair don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i love you guys kisses